supervision today is being provided by Trooper, who's right there asleep on his bed. Good morning, everybody. So yesterday... Mother's Day. Yes, Mother's Day. <laughs> Desmond installed the two windows on the van, which he did a great job there already. And now we're heading to Ferndale because Desmond found some used solar panels on yeah. Craigslist. Craigslist, Friday night, uh, probably just after 5 o'clock. Um, and that's relevant to the story. <laughs> um, I happened to go on Craigslist. I thought, I'm going to look and see if there's any solar panels. And there's a company in the town of Ferndale that has seven 250-watt panels for sale. They um, upgraded their array. They used their, their existing array for four years, and they just upgraded it. And they said they've tested all these panels. They're all in working order. They gave all the specs for them. And they want $100 a piece. They're asking $100 a yeah, piece for these panels. Cheap. So, so we'll see if we can get two for 150 or 175 Yeah, if they have any. So we're going to take a drive to the Victorian. It's called the Victorian Village of Ferndale. It's a really and fun place a, to visit if you're ever a, in Northern California. Yeah, it's a beautiful little town. We are leaving Ferndale after a successful visit. We stopped at uh, a company that makes... Uh, cables and connectors. Cables and connectors. And solar panels. He had originally 30 panels wow, from so a system. Many. Now he's got four left because he had six when I got there today. We just paid $200 for 500 watts, watts of solar. Of solar. They've all been tested. Um, he's, it's a reputable company. Uh, he said he's got panels in there that are 40 years old that are still working. So I'm confident we're going to be in good shape for the next several years. Oh, yeah. And now we have another project, which is to start building a rack. <laughs> Our own rack. To go the on the roof. Yeah, and there's a great tutorial online on how to do yeah. that. Everything's going so, so much faster than I anticipated. Yeah, very excited though. Um, a great morning. Okay, just got home. Um, the rain has stopped for a while. And here's one of the two panels. So I'm going to scrub that guy. It's 250 watts of power. I'm trying to get a head start on the solar panel rack. And so what I've done, I have this one and a quarter aluminum stock that I'm using. And I've marked it off for the brackets I'm going to cut. I don't have a drill press. And this will lie, it'll bolt to the frame of the... Uh, solar panel and then to the unistrut that I have and this long piece here from which I'm cutting my brackets this will tie the two pieces of unistrut together across the roof to give it lateral rigidity just trying to get it lined up and get it squared away so that they come out right and they're properly drilled and positioned Uh, today's project or partial project is to work on the mounting system for the solar panels. They're going to sit on this unistrut. The unistrut has four motor mounts attached to it on each side. And today what I'm going to do is get up on the roof of the van. And up here on the edges, there are five hard points. Caps cover an eight millimeter threaded bolt hole. Or, or mounting point. And so I'm gonna take those off. I'll take one off first and test it, see how big it is, see the alignment, and work my way down. I'll put the bracket up onto the roof on both sides. So I'll put this piece of unistrut and that piece of unistrut up on the two sides. And the way this is laid out in the garage floor, it's actually to the left is the passenger side to the right is the driver's side, so it's uh, as though you would pick this up and flip it over on top of the van. So I'll put those in place, and then I will take my L bracket, which I'm gonna use for lateral rigidity. I'll take that up, 
get it measured properly and prepare to cut it to bolt here and then over on this end and once I have that I'll have my measurement for the span of the two brackets and then I can start marking out bolt hole patterns but I have all my brackets that I made supervision today is being provided by trooper who's right there asleep on his bed all right so here we are on the roof so these two spots right here are for electrical access um, this is a mounting point electrical and electrical this one i put extra sealant around i just wanted to try it so let me peel that off and use this one for our uh, solar access electrical mounting uh, mounting right there mounting right about there and another one way up in the front and a couple more electrical spots Just being real, trying to be real careful to just slide the blade under the edge there. As if by some strange twist of fate we don't have a hard point under here, I can neatly put it back and seal it up well. We're supposed to have a few days of dry weather, so that's why I'm trying to get this done now. Andrew's sisters are on the radio. Okay, look at that. the first one so it's hard to really tell I'm gonna go inside and see if you can see any light from in there yeah I don't see any oh there it is there's light there so there you go you see right through that hole there you can see it's open All the extra points up here that are used, these little caps, all these extra ones that I'm not using, are going to get siliconed over very heavily to make sure they don't become a problem later. Continuing with the solar rack, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to cut off the excess. If we start at the very back, I have the rack now laid out as it would go onto the roof. I'll secure the two panels together. Um, I have my angle brackets in place. The L-shaped aluminum is just there as a placeholder in front. That gives me about three inches from the vent, and that's the uh, you know from the kind of curved cover of the vent the vents actually there but that gives me a gap of about three inches from the back end of the vent shroud um, the question I have now for myself that I'm debating is this is the front motor mount that we're using so each panel will be supported by two they'll be tied together that should be supported by two on each rail so four and I'm thinking of cutting this off. I think this overhang is way too much. Um, I don't want to open up the, I don't want to open up the uh, threaded hole on the very front of the cab. And then on the inside, out of sight, I'll have my brackets. So I think that's gonna be my layout. And hopefully I'll have this done by the end of the day. 
Okay, I got off to a little bit of a rocky start this morning where I slightly misdrilled one of my holes for the practice down here. But I've got everything marked now for the driver's side, so I'm out here and I'm starting to drill them, and I think we'll have all the brackets installed in this panel assembly on the roof today. I've got the unistruts up on the roof. I used an extra unistrut I had to tie the rear end together. So I just have it just for some more lateral stability. I mean, it's really, really sturdy. This front's locked together right now, but I'm gonna slide this back and tie it into the front panel. So Jeannie and I are gonna bring the first panel up. And I put these pieces of ply on here so we can just kind of can slide the panel basically put the panel on the rail and tilt it and it'll slide right over and we'll get it lined up with some of the mounting holes and then we will be um, what we'll get it lined up with these mounting holes and I'll bracket down or latch down the first panel and then we'll get the second one on so looking good I'm pretty happy with it so far we'll see though so I think probably our best bet we're just gonna pick it up mm -hmm. and see this we want to be on this side of the rail. That's all we have to do is get it onto that side of the rail. Okay? Uh -huh. One, two, three. Way up. Up, up, up. Perfect. And then just slide. And as we go across, it's going to hit the plywood. Okay, you can lower it a little bit. It should be on the plywood now. I'm going to take a quick peek. Mm -hmm, I got it. You got it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like engineering. Awesome. All right. Sun is setting. Both panels are on. Um, I have a couple of brackets to finish attaching, but they're, everything's in place. I just need to run some extra bolts through everything. But that's it. These are up, and this part, for the most part, is done. And it's been, um, so far, the most difficult, most difficult part of doing anything on this van has been making this rack and getting it going. So, anyway, I'm going to go have a cold beer and some dinner. And call it good for the night. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. Bye bye.